This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. I'm Primitive Tim, and in today's episode, I'm going into the woods to do what I like to do. Now make sure you watch to the very end because I'm doing a giveaway with this arrow. In order to win it, you need to follow the instructions that I give at the very end of this video. These are the things that I like to do and what I enjoy when I head out into the wilderness. So we're going down the road and this little guy right here is crossing. Ooh, has a leak in him too. <laughs> but um, this is a turtle that I've actually never found before. And um, what's different about it is along the side here, there's a stripe instead of spots like our common kudus. Also, right here on the front legs, it's another yellow stripe right across the front. Ooh, he's opening up his mouth at me. Still leaking. Anyway, we're just gonna get him off the road and into the water on the ditch over here, and then we'll be on our way and look for some more creatures. I got me. <laughs> this is the Eastern Garter Snake. And as you can tell, they're crazy snakes. Ah, he's just, I mean, look at him, he's just going at me. I've never had a garter snake this intent on biting me. You need to chill out, all right? But here in this part of Florida on the East Coast, we have some of the prettiest garter snakes. And they have this incredible turquoise color still trying to bite me. Now, as you go north, these snakes are gonna to start to turn brown and they're a bit uglier, but man, these guys are just incredible looking snakes. Ooh, this one's got a really bad scar on its side, right here. But, um, ooh, that's nasty. But it looks like he's definitely a healthy specimen. That big scar is, it looks old and is apparently not making a difference to this guy's health, because. He's full of energy and uh, ready to defend himself. Look at that tongue go. All right, so people have been giving me a hard time about not wearing shoes, and um, here's the reason right here. In the summertime, it just rains a lot, and most of your paths are gonna have water. So like this path right here, I'm gonna have to walk through all that water. If I was wearing shoes and socks, that would all get wet and soggy, and um, it'd just be heavy. And so I just go barefoot. It's easier and more simple. Now, it's been raining a lot recently, and I've been seeing like all kinds of different mushrooms. Now, I don't really know a whole lot about mushrooms, like fungus, that's probably one of my weakest areas of nature, but I still think they're really cool. So, I'm just gonna like give you guys kind of a medley of some of the mushrooms I've been seeing. All right, so I've noticed at least like five different species of mushrooms. Now, I'd be very interested in eating them. However, mushrooms aren't my most knowledgeable topic. So, only about 3% of mushrooms in Florida are actually edible, the rest are poisonous. However, a lot of these edible mushrooms have lookalikes that are poisonous. And so you have to go through all these little tests, check different things, and um, if it's not poisonous, you're fine. But it's kind of a risk, so I tend to stay away from mushrooms. Now, if you're like a mushroom expert or something, and you can just identify all these mushrooms off the top of your head, please do so. That would be so awesome. Just put the timestamp and then um, say whatever species it is scientific names would be awesome as well. So just throwing that out there. Now one thing I like to do when I'm out in the woods is called stump shooting. So I take my primitive bow, and my primitive arrows, and I'll just go out and I'll just kind of make up my own targets. So I'll just kind of walk through the woods and just pick out targets here and there. And it can be anything from like a leaf to an orange to just a stump. Incredibly invasive, and it's the only one I've seen out here. 
So that's kind of bad that they found a niche and that they're starting to grow out of there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shooting it and then when I'm done, I'll just tear it out. Here's the damage from the orange. There's like one hole there, and then there's kind of like a crack that happened. I really wanted to get a solid shot on it, but I guess I just need to keep practicing or get better arrows. These arrows, they're kind of my go out in the woods and shoot them at random things arrows. They're not my best arrows. So you can see that juice squeezing out, and that's all sour. And just to prove it to you, I'll let some of that fall into my mouth. Ugh. It's actually not quite as sour as I expected. This is like an overly ripe uh, orange right here, so it was about ready to fall off the tree. So um, I'll toss it on the ground. A rat will probably come by at some point tonight and eat it. So, yeah. One thing I love about being in the woods is, is the trees. I mean, they're such a critical part of the ecosystem. And just finding trees like this big oak tree right here, where the, the base of it's just all mangled and rooted around and it's got these big supports coming out of the side and they just kind of go up and around and it's grown these extra extra veins of wood to support it and uh, this is critical because in a place like Florida where we're having hurricanes and a strong winds just coming through constantly it's important to have these little supports all around the base of the tree so it doesn't fall down so it makes climbing them a little bit easier. good vantage point. I can look out over the forest and uh, there's some critters wandering around out there. I'm going to see them long before they see me. Now these huge trees, they're host to a lot of really cool plants. There's air plants, bromeliads, there's even orchids, these guys right here. And there's different types of air plants. Of course these resurrection ferns down here, all up along there. And uh, without these trees we wouldn't have that kind of diversity growing up here. And this is a lot of cool stuff just up in one tree. So I decided I wanted to give away one of my arrows that I've made, and this is a completely primitive arrow, um, all natural materials. Right here is the stone point. This is from Flint Ridge, so it's a really pretty type of flint. And then of course the shaft is made from cane, and then the, the feathers here, these are turkey tail feathers. The point is attached with pine pitch glue that I also made, and then it was secured with deer sinew. And then the fletchings back here, these were also secured with Dear send you. Now see how this sort of stuff is made? You can check out my channel. I'll be replying to comments and so you can just click on the link. All right, so for you to get a chance at winning this arrow, all you have to do is share Animal Bites TV's Facebook page and Primitive Tim's Facebook page. So here's Animal Bites TV right here and here's Primitive Tim's Facebook page right here. Click on both of those, share the page, and when I see that you guys have shared the pages, I'll put you into a drawing and then I'll just randomly select a winner to get this arrow. And so I'll get in contact with you. Once they're shared, you've automatically entered yourself into the drawing and we'll randomly select a winner. So good luck. And I really hope this goes to someone that is gonna be able to really appreciate this. This natural world all around us is absolutely amazing. So until next time, find a new way to appreciate nature. I've been diving with sharks for 14 years. All kinds of sharks. Yep, 
even that one. But I'm not here to convince you to like sharks. I'm here to ask questions. This is ABTV. <laughs>